Hello and welcome. My name is Edward Obura. I'm born again and love the Lord Jesus. Uh, I come from Ogango, part of Jesus Around the World Church, and I'm a youth pastor, and I'm also a leader of Hallelujah Worship Youth Ministry. Today, the Lord has placed something in my heart that I want to share with you. Uh, the topic uh, or the subject of the that I want us to talk about is called sin. And we are going to read from the book of Romans chapter 6, verse 23. A very common scripture. But the Bible says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Okay, today the Lord placed this subject in my heart that I should share with everyone who is watching. And I believe that God is going to bless you. I pray, I pray that the Lord will open your spirit so that this word will enter into your spirit and not only into your mind, so that you will find transformation, you will be blessed, you will meet the blessing of the Lord and your life will not remain the, the same again. Uh, the Lord revealed to me that the reason we are suffering today is because of sin. The reason we are separated from God, we are separated from God is because of sin. The reason we are dying because of sickness and all this, it's, it's all because of sin. Uh, that is why Paul spoke unto us through Romans that the wages of sin is death. Praise God. Uh, sin brought separation from God. From the beginning, in the Garden of Eden, sin separated man from God. Therefore, there is no any link. Sin des uh, destroyed the link that we have with God. There is not any good thing we can receive because of sin. This is the reason why I'm urging whoever is listening that you should separate yourself, you should run from sin. Whoever is walking in sin should know that the end result of sin is death. The reason why sometimes you find, you might feel that you are cast, you are, uh, somebody has spelled some omen, some bad omen, or some curse upon you, it's because of sin. Sin brought hatred. Sin has really destroyed the world. And I came to realize that the most dangerous thing in the world is sin, not even the devil himself. The devil knew that sin was the only weapon he can use to destroy human beings. And the devil used sin to separate man from God. And the devil used sin to destroy mankind. This is why during the days of Noah, of Nu, in the book of Genesis chapter 6, uh, the devil came down with sin and destroyed the uh, human race so uh, so much with sin that to a point that God this God was God began to regret God began to regret the, why he created man and this is very sorrowful uh, hallelujah therefore I want you to know that sin can destroy everything in your life I want you to know that you have the you have the choice. You can make a choice within yourself. You have the power to make a choice within yourself to run from sin. Because the Bible says, all the powers are with you. The Bible says that the Lord, the, Lord, the, the Bible says in the book of uh, Revelation chapter 3 verse 20, that behold, I stand at the door. The Lord is near you. Sin made Jesus to leave his throne of glory, to come and die a very shameful death, so that we may be reunited with God. And therefore, the Lord is with us. You don't need to go to the witch doctors to walk to these people that are the, the, the false pastors, the false prophets. You don't need to go to them to help you. You don't need to give them money to help you. There is help that we've been freely given. Uh, the Bible says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes, shall not perish but have eternal life the eternal life that we are talking about that the bible is talking about is in christ whoever has christ according to first john chapter 5 verse 12 whoever has christ has eternal life so if you do if you don't have christ if you're not born again then you don't have eternal life in you the bible again says in the book of john chapter 3 verse 3 that unless you're born again you will not inherit the kingdom of God. Meaning, if you know that you're not born again, you're just walking, 
uh, you're just living your life and you have not accepted Jesus Christ, my friend, I want you to know that you belong to the kingdom of darkness. When you die now, you will go to hell. When you die now, you'll have your place in the kingdom with, 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 the, with the demons, with the devil, in the lake of fire. Therefore, you should make your decision as long as you are living. This is the time that God favors everything that you are doing. And the Lord has given you opportunity. He has given you chance to choose. He has given you chance to decide to give yourself to Christ. Therefore, you should not waste time. Think of your eternity. Think of life after death. After you will die, where will you spend your eternity? And if you will think wisely, then I advise you to choose Christ. Uh, Moses once said in Deuteronomy that the Lord has given, today is the day that the Lord has given. The Lord has given you two things to choose, life or death. And he advised the children of Israel to choose life. And that life is in Jesus Christ. Therefore, my friend, choose life so that you don't spend your eternity in hell. Choose life. And everything that sin uh, killed in your life will resurrect. Because the life that I'm talking about, that is Jesus Christ, the Bible says, He is the resurrection. Whatever is dead in your life, maybe financially, your, uh, your financial status is dead, your marital status is dying, whatever you're doing is dying, they will resurrect as long as you receive the King of Resurrection. As long as you receive Jesus in your life, He is the resurrection and He is, the, is life. Therefore, my brother, I just want to bless you with that short word and may the Lord bless you. And for the youths out there, remember that the Lord has given you time that, so that you will change and serve Him when you are still strong. Do not waste your youthful energy in serving the devil. Welcome into the kingdom of God so that the Lord will bless you and the Lord will prosper you. In the mighty name of Jesus, stay blessed.